Nah, yeah, we right back, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never left. Let me stop. Let's go. When the folk want to know who sent you, just tell them I am sent you. Then fuck whatever you need, I So I am. I want to let me. I mean, but let's go. Let me stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep on with the sermon. I mean, let's go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am that I am. I like that right there because Moses lets us know that whatever, I love this right here, the floor of life falls out from under you, causing you to hit rock bottom. That's what you'll just. All right, now I want my grandma to get on this too. I told her about him. I told my, my mother to tell her about the cold powder in the, in, the, in the coffee. I don't like to have too much cinnamon. I don't like to have too much cold powder. So this, right now, this, this cup has the cold powder in there. Another kind of, you know, Haitian or popular, you know, Haitian spice, you know what I mean? Haitian popular spice or popular Haitian spice, you know what I mean? So, yeah, use it a lot. Remember that God is your liberating rock at the bottom, and God has a way free. We be using hippies and everything. Hippies, hippies, you know what I'm saying? We be using everything, you know what I'm saying? To rice and beans, to, you know, just my mom, how she really cooks rice and beans. She don't got to make it in you know, a specific way. She makes it how she makes it. Just put the hippies pizza juice in there, you know what I'm saying? With the, um, Spaghetti, even, you know, spaghetti. Epi, epi, pickle juice, you know what I mean? With the, you know, we haven't put it on the pork chops yet, but we keep forgetting, but pretty much the pork chops. Epis, you know I mean? Not the pickle juice so much, so I never, you know, ground meat, you know? Epis, pickle juice, you know what I mean? Um, what else, you know, like, salmon, you know what I mean? Epis, pickle juice, not nah, epis on that one, too, you know what I mean? We put the pesto as well, pesto's bomb on, on uh, salmon. But, you know, just... And she broils it, you know. I like I like how my mom cooks, you know. I like how the girl does mom cooks it too. And I like I like how my mom cooks it too. You know what I'm saying? I like I like I like seeing a lot, but the way my mom cooks it, I love my mom's cooking, you know what I mean? So she cooks it, you know, on broil. I think it's like ten and fifteen minutes. For some reason she does two timers, but you know it's like that. So it's pretty good though. It takes about twenty five minutes to cook pretty much like for the most part. On um, broil on high. My dad cooked it on low. <clears throat> it came out more looking like the color of it. How the girl goes mom cooked it. So I like that too, but my mom, I like how my mom cooks way better, like, not how the girl goes wrong, because I'm saying, like, than my dad, because my dad, he flipped it and everything, so my mom don't be flipping it and shit like that, so, yeah, like, some stuff, you know, but anyway, I'm going to keep playing, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, you know what I'm saying, let's go. Hey, I'm about to do that thing, God has a way with life, with the flow of life falls out from under you, you end up falling into the hands and plans of God, and before you know what you're doing, what you never imagined you would do, because now you're in the hands and the plans of a God who does exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or imagine, Moses goes from having a job as a shepherd for his father-in-law to having a... I be learning, you know, like life lessons, you know, like, like I said, I, I was even listening to a sermon in the car, so some sermons, you know, really stick out, but even just like, you know, but some sermons, like I said, you know, and I, I was about to say too, like some sermons are more exciting than others, and then like, you know, have more like, you know, um, waboom points, but most of them do have, you know, at least one, you know, like waboom point, but then, then there's, you know, we haven't really gotten into too many, um, guest preachers on this channel yet, um, with, 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 you know, Friendship West, whatever, you know, with, with, what we listen to on this, but, um, yeah, guest sermons, preachers as well, guest pastors on that, but, um, but I mean, you know, by, you know, like, some people say, you know, oh, they give you hope, you know, like, once, once you leave church, you know, once the ones, like, you know, even if it's once a week or something, but it's still, like, you know, saying, you get, like, I get life lessons, and, you know, I could say, like, this sermon and really apply, you know, next year. 10 years down the line, you know, I'd be remembering stuff, like, you know, like, so it's like, you know, if something stands out to me, I'm like, you know, I'd be reiterating, like, I'd be reiterating, like, you know what I'm saying, like, like it ain't, like, it ain't nothing, so it's like, where? Oh, I like it so much, I mean, not even, ain't nothing, you know, like, like it's a lot, I mean, so it's like, where? <laughs> Your job will give you what a bed to sleep in. 
that. But God's call will give you a good night's sleep. That is, your good listen God, to your job will listen give me. you I'm money that you can buy stuff with. But your purpose, God's call, will give you Nowadays, I see that my daughter does. No care, hope from above. Let me stop. 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 Like I said, I stayed up the night. Like I said, you know, she called. You know I mean, that one with smiles. You know what I mean, but still, like you know, um, pretty much though, she called. I was knocked out, though, you know, sleep like a baby, like you know, what I'm saying? like beyond shit for real, though, because you know, sometimes I be like, I'm so knocked out, I don't hear it. You know, what I'm saying like even like timers and stuff. You know, like if I'm if I'm knocked out, like you know, especially like you know, from a whole day, you know, staying up for like you know, twenty four. Hour plus staying up, and I don't like to go past it. I mean, but I, mean, I go past 24. I mean, I'm saying, like, you know, like, <clears throat> but you know, just staying up, you know, skipping the night of sleep pretty much, you know, like something like that. You know, it's like, so I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, um, go without sleep. I just said, you know, to gain peace, but, you know, when I when I do go to sleep, even like, especially after those days, I, I have a long night, and it's like, I, I go to sleep and I, I sleep very, you know, restfully. Beyond, you know, like, you know, peacefully. Some days, some days I still have, you know, bad dreams, nightmares. You know, at the same time, it's like, nightmares, nightmares, you know, just something. Um, but still, you know, like, for the most part, it's like, because that just happens any night, too. So it's just like, you know, some days I have you know, great dreams, and when I sleep that long, you know, I can sleep, like, you know, a good, like, you know, at times, you know, I'll sleep like a good 16 hours, you know, like, staying up all night, you know, so. Or else, you know, sleep a good eight hours, and then, you know, Go to sleep like you know within eight hours of waking up. You mean so something like that, you know? Even like within like you know what I'm saying. So it's like I just kind of you know play it by ear in a sense, you know. And just like I say, like you know, um, inspirational kind of a movement. You know what I mean? Like kind of just um, I think what I call it, you know, just yeah. So anyway, let's go. Some of these are gonna go under sermons and also like to just chopping up with y'all type of things or something like that. Maybe even so yeah, I will probably chop up the Logans, you know what I mean? What does that look like? <clears throat> like chopping up a lot, y'all, like in, in the video. There's a brilliant light. So you got the sermon too. I've heard I've heard so that kinda of goes come together. God, I love this perceives of a problematic plight and predicament. Oh my god. I'm glad to know. God is not aloof and unaware. Mm. God is not some distant deity. That's mm. why James Cone, the father of black liberation theology, said that for black theologians, God is not some abstraction that we discuss and debate about, but God is concrete reality in the concrete circumstances of black folks' predicament. Why? Because when you catch in hell, you ain't got time to argue and fuss about how many angels can dance on the top of a pinhead when you are going through hell of oppression and racism and when Roseanne Barr gets on Ambien and goes on a racist binge, then you ain't got no time to wonder if God is this or if God is that. But oh, hallelujah, when you know God gets involved in your situation, Y'all still not get this. I gotta go old school. That's why in the old school church, y'all too young to know about old school church. <laughs> y'all probably do. Like, even when I'm watching this, you probably do see me clearly. But if you don't, it don't matter. Because, like, right now when I'm watching this, I can see myself, you know, actually very clearly. But at the same time, not clearly at all. It means it's like, this is like, you know, the player. But at the same time, you know, more so, I pray, pray you can hear this clearly. If you can't hear it clearly, I'm pretty sure you can probably.
At least hear it. As good as I can see myself right now. And I'm about to go get some more coffee, so. And uh, uh, so I kind of. Yeah, I will just wait. I'm going to get it in between the videos. So. I'm not one. 